and that will sing again till I do there'll be no spring again I miss you like the flowers would miss the morning dew the second seem like Attention, please. Calling all passengers. Passengers wishing to send radio messages may now do so at the radio office on B deck. The ship will berth at Dover in 30 minutes. Thank you. I, uh, I want to put an advertisement in the newspapers. Would that be possible by radio? You mean send a radio telegram to the newspapers? Yes. Sir. Well, I don't see why not, if it's urgent. It's very urgent. It's been urgent for many years. Well, if you'd care to give me the name of the paper and the message. Right. To all the big national papers, here's the message. Please insert following advertisement in personal column earliest. Stop. Uh, message begins. To Sea Wife. Home at last. Please get in touch. And the signature is Biscuit. Biscuit? B I S C U I T. That'll be 27 shillings, madam. 27 shillings? That's very expensive, isn't it? Costs a shilling a word, madam. How many words are there? 27. I see. That'll be 27 shillings, then. That's right. Never mind, as long as I can find my topsy. Thank you. I want to put this advertisement in the personal column. See, see. Wife, see wife. See wife. Have returned with fatted calf. And the cherry trees are in bloom. Biscuit? Biscuit.
Afternoon, Henry. Afternoon, sir. Whiskey, please. Sir. Some soda, Andrew Butcher? Yes. Very quiet this afternoon? Always is on Tuesday, sir. Thank you. Hello, Teddy. Still looking for the winner? That's right, old boy. As a matter of fact, I think I've got a red hot tip for the big race. Well, you might share it. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not quite sure which horse it is, old boy. Well, that's not much of a tip. Well, it's all this stuff that's been appearing in the papers in the last fortnight. This sea wife and biscuit business. Have you seen it? Yes. What's that got to do with the big race? Well, it's obviously a tip, isn't it? I mean, bound to be. Well, I suppose it might be, but... Uh... What do you mean, it might be? What else could it be? Well, I know this will come as a great shock to you, Teddy, but there are other things in life than horse racing, you know. No, no. Now, listen. Here are the list of runners. There's nothing about sea unless you count permanent wave. And there's nothing about wife unless you count little pest. Absolutely nothing about biscuit. Well, it may be something subtler than that. Yeah. Yes, wait a minute, wait a minute. Of course. Crusted port. Crusted port? Yeah. So you see, port. Sailors have sea wives in every port. Crusted. Biscuit. Well, it's certainly very ingenious, Teddy, but you really think they'd go to all that? A hundred of one. A hundred of one. Let me give that to them. <laughs> The other half, sir? Uh, no, thank you. I'll go to my room. Very good, sir. Sir, this has just been delivered for you. Thank the you. chauffeur is waiting for a reply. I'll be down in a minute. Very good, sir. Mr. Cannon to see you. Bulldog? Oh, there. You forgive me for not getting up. My legs plague me up. Of course. I'm sorry, not well. Oh, uh, well enough. Everything considered. Sit down, sit down. You just got back? Yes. Been a long time. I was in hospital a long time. After that, I got mixed up in the war again and went to Burma. Yes, yes, yes. That uh, isn't important. This business. Some advertisements of yours. Sir, there can be no question of publication. After all, Biscuit, we're gentlemen. I'm going to find Sea Wife. Miss 
Let me give you a word of advice, my boy. Forget the whole thing. After all, it, it's over and done with, isn't it? Forget it while you can. Otherwise, there'll come a time when you can't forget it. And every night, sometimes during the day, but certainly at night, you'll have it with you. Bobbing there in the sea, its filthy evil hand coming over the side of your bed. And screaming at you! and conferring about. A girl, a negro, and a knife. That crazy raft. What else could I do? Let him come. I'm not afraid of him. It's my duty. Do the same again. Do the same again. person will arrive at the gates of hell with somebody carrying his luggage. Yes, and pushing people out of the way to get there. It's a great hurry to get home, isn't it? We all are. I'm sorry, madam. All cabins have been acquired. But if you take the slip to the forward saloon on sea deck... But, sir, you must have something. Yes, madam. A thousand passengers in five cabins to contain them. So if you'll take the slip. Uh, pardon me, madam. With the slip, you obtain floor space in forward saloon on C deck. Thank you. That's it, madam. Two decks to send. Well, uh, sir, is there a stewardess aboard? Sorry, we have no stewardess, madam. But if you take the slip to uh, B deck. Thank you. So, oh, about my cabin. All cabin accommodation has been acquired, sir. Yes, never mind yes, about madam. that. We're a party of five ladies, uh, uh, and we have only two bunks. All cabins have been taken, sir. It will mean somebody moving out. Up to you. The only individuals in cabins are old, or with children, or with sickness. Well, that's not my business. Very well, sir. If you will come with me. Oh, Do you wish me to tell them to move out, sir?
彼は知らないです。Preachers like you who put the wrong ideas into the heads of these savages. Stand by, sir. You really believe all that religious tosh? Why don't you stay in Singapore and convert the Japanese, huh? Oh.
Deal? Water? Biscuits? Right. Over she goes. Next one. Deal? Water? Biscuits? Well done, old man. You hung on like a bulldog. Hey, my supplies. Thanks. Pleasure. Welcome aboard, Mr. Mr. Bulldog. There's room for a fourth. Come on in. No more after this. Number four. One mouthful. Bulldog. One mouthful. Is that arm bad? Only for the moment. There you are. Now, do we paddle all night or do we lay up? Oh, lay up. Let's get some sleep while it's reasonably cool. But better leave someone on watch. Fair enough. We'll split it. Now, say, uh, nine hours between three of us. Between four of us. It will be better if you sleep. Tomorrow will be very hot. I think it'd be better if you rested. Then in that case, I can't have the water or the biscuits. People share or do not share. Did you never hear of the equality of women?
Thank you, Mr. Biscuit. It's all right. Just your turn to keep watch, that's all. What time do I call number four? Two fifteen. What? Are you saying your prayers? Very touching, my dear, but you'll learn that in this life, it's every man for himself. When I'm in trouble, I call on God to help me. Don't you? Just straightforwardly asking someone up there to send the ship along, huh? Why not? But you can't believe because of that one will come. I believe that we are all in the hands of God. And if it is his will, we shall be rescued. Hmm. And, and if it isn't? We are still in the hands of God. Yeah. These are the hands that I believe in. I'm the captain of my ship. I'm the master of my soul. Oh, you keep your faith, my I dear. I think I also have hope and trust. And that's what we need more than anything just now. Trust in each other. You, this kid, and number four. <laughs> There are some sorts of people in whom I find it very difficult to place trust. I've seen too much of them. Oh, no. It isn't that you've seen too much. You've seen too little. That makes about as much sense as your ship from heaven. Not too good. Uh, but you can't come in, does make a difference. Yes. Not too far. There are sharks about, you know. It's funny. I never noticed her on the ship. Nor I. You would not have recognized her then, Jack. Now she looks like a sea wife. Huh? A sea wife. What's that? When one refers to a sea wife, one implies a mermaid. Sea wife. I like that. Sea wife. What did you say? Come on in. Breakfast. you called me? We christened you Sea Wife. According to our seagoing professor here, it's a kind of mermaid. Sea Wife. Thank you, number four. It's a lovely name. Is there any reason to suppose that we're going in the right direction? How much water is there? Enough for two more days. Two days? <laughs> what a pity it isn't gin. Would have made dying more amusing. Now, let's see. When the water's gone, 
We kill someone and drink their blood, don't we? Put a sock in it, will you? But we must remember to drink it while the patient's still alive. Otherwise, it won't flow. Shut up. No doubt this sounds very revolting to you now. But we'll see. When the food and water's gone, when your throats are really parched and burning, when your tongue swollen to the point of struggling for breath and your bellies... Shut up! Shut up, you know! <laughs> you don't like facing facts. Well, I do like facing facts. Facts, facts. Lovely things. Shh. Please. I think I hear something. You hear something? Yes. Listen. Put your ear to the float. Sounds like heavy breathing. A sea monster. Ah, superstitious nonsense. Natural sounds have natural causes. over there. Light out, you're blinding us. We don't understand you. We're English. Put that blasted light out. Who are you? English? American? English. What are you doing? We're on a pleasure cruise. What did you say? Ship, sunk, night before last. What did you say about pleasure? My friend is ill. We are short of food and water. May we come on board? Wait. What was your ship? The San Felix. From what part? Speak up, please. Singapore. What other ships left Singapore? I've no idea. What British and American warships are in the Indian Ocean? You refuse to tell? I don't know. If you do not give information, you are useless. My honorable commander say goodbye. But we need food and water. We have nothing to spare. Well, if you will not supply us, we will be compelled to give ourselves up as your prisoners. My commander regrets that he has no space for prisoners. If you are not prepared to die honorably by your own hands, he is prepared as a humane man to slit your boat with his sword. That's murder. It's against every code of any civilized nation. 
On the contrary, my commander is behaving strictly according to international law. He will leave you unmolested. You say your commander is a humane man. And I'm sure he is. But he cannot turn away from us and leave us to die. That would be a stain he must not place upon his conscience. What the Kashi, Kona Fajino, Kotawo Kitek Kurasai, Kona Fajinwa, Stuno Fajindewa Alimashenka. No, no. Saidana Jajenka Amasadis, Netekita Vijindis. Yokuagata, Shokurioto, Inyo Suyalka, Ilemuno Dati. What the devil are you up to? The commander will give me food and water. Why? What did you say to him? I told him that... I know what he said. It was something rather personal. And nothing to do with anyone else. For you, bear it. Hey, wait a minute. What's our position? Where's the nearest land? There is land all around. How long to reach it? Empty your minds. You must learn to eat time. You must learn to eat time. to you for not having told the others what you told the Japanese. But you are none. That beggar's up to something. Better watch him. Bulldog is a man of very deep prejudices. I don't want to make it more difficult for them. I wish you wouldn't encourage him. It's asking for trouble. I tried to warn her the other night. But... Oh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. He's all right. You chaps who served overseas are all the same. You get stationed out here for a while, or you know all about the East. I tell you, you don't understand these beggars. I do. He got us the food, didn't he? It's better than you or I could do. Now more than ever, seems it rich to die, to cease upon the midnight with no pain. See that star up there? The light from that star has taken billions of years to get to us. If I wasn't so tired, I'd tell you how many billions of years. Very comforting, isn't it? That we are small compared with it. So small that we don't matter. No. The comfort is that though we are small, there is someone who thinks that we do matter. You're better, aren't you? Mm hmm. Miles better. You know, Sea Wife, I met an old man on the ship. 
He had white hair. He was going home to England. First time for 30 years. He wanted to see the cherry orchards in bloom. See, wife. The old man will never see the cherry orchard in bloom now, will he? Do you think we will? Oh, yes. See, wife, promise me one thing. If by some miracle we ever get out of this alive, you'll come with me to see the cherry in bloom. I can't promise you that. No? I would have thought that's a nice, simple thing to ask a girl. No, I can't come with you to see the cherry trees. But I shall remember that you asked me. You're a rum girl. Madam, have I a rival? Yes, sir, you have. Oh. Is he handsome? You're certainly better. Men always talk that way when they're better. You! Nothing! You will look out! Why did you let go? They didn't let us down! I didn't you see it! You could have signaled them! There wasn't time. It was on top of us before I saw it. Why didn't you call us? Let her go! Yeah. You wanted to kill us, that's why you let her go! I tell you, I didn't see it! The ship is gone. Let us accept that. Quarrelling won't help us. The paddle missing. Yeah. And the food and water. It's been spent them upward. You're right, you fool. You're right. A bit further. A bit further, to your right. Shadows. Only shadows. Too dark. And the current's too strong to find the rest. No food. No water. No doubt. That was your ship from heaven, madam. Stop it. Stop 
behaving like savages. You're insane. Stop. Listen to me. right to have done that. Not to a seabird. Bad luck to kill a seabird.
back panel. What day do you make it, according to your reckoning? I'm not sure. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. I don't know. Why? Does it make any difference? You know, I got a funny feeling. When we were out there, on the raft, am I lost today? Tell me, was I delirious? A bit. How long? About a day, we were all a bit shaky. So, I did lose a day. What happened on that day? Oh, uh, nothing much. No. No, I want to know. All right. You remember the seabird? Seabird? No. Uh, I remember the storm, or bits of it. I'm wondering why I wasn't washed overboard. The answer to that is that uh, number four hung on to you for several hours. Oh? If it were not for him, you would have been a goner. Just lay across you and hang on, that's all. I see. Well, I'm very much obliged to you, Purser. You are very welcome. I'm sure you would have done the same thing for me. But I'm afraid I'm not a presser any longer. You see, I've lost my situation. You know, even I am able to grasp that fact. And what do you suppose you are now? Just one of the party. Well, Bulldog, I feel fit enough now for a very short, very gentle, exploratory potter. What about you? I'm game. Where's Sea Wife? Collecting shellfish. Number four, if you'll get some coconuts. Yes, I'll do that. Okay, we won't be long. I'm very disappointed in this place. In every respectable desert island that I've read about, they have everything except electricity and main drainage. Here we have coconuts and water, period. With all that bad boo around, we could make a raft. If only we had something to cut it with. Well, it's no use worrying about that. Better get on with this hut for Sea Wife. Pity she didn't see it before it collapsed.
Lee White. What's your name? My name is Sea Wife. I mean your real name. I'm not a real person here. None of us are. I think it's better if we keep the names we have. I don't agree. My name is Michael Cannon. You'll find me any time propping up the bar at the St. George's Club, London. <laughs> I'll remember that, Biscuit. Michael. Biscuit. Sea Wife. What's your Christian name? Why? So that I have something to call you by that, that others haven't. I don't understand you. So calm, so removed. Don't you have any feelings, any emotions? Of course I do. But don't ask me to explain. Because I can't. All right. I won't ask you. But I promise you one thing. If ever we get out of this place, I will ask you. And if necessary, I'll wait till doomsday for an answer. Never mind about what'll happen after. The main thing is to get out. I suppose we could hang on here for a while longer, but... No, not for much longer. Why not? We've got coconuts, water, fish. Yes, but there's no faith anymore. And I can't live without that. It's as though the springs had dried up. You mean Bulldog and Number Four? It's not only them. You mean us, Sea Wife? I mean... We must go before it's too late. You can't escape me, you know. There's no way off this island. A way will come. See why thinks we ought to be leaving pretty soon. What time's the next train? Where does it go to, anyway? You know, if this is one of the Nicobars, there ought to be land pretty near through the north. As a matter of fact, I thought I saw some the other day when the haze lifted. How far? About 10 or 15 miles, if it was land. The currents are all dead north and pretty strong. Hey, what have you got there? A useful discovery, huh? What is it? A machete. Where the devil did you get it? Along the shore, buried in the sand. Let's have a look at it. I said, let's have a look at it. I should prefer to clean, sharpen, and entirely renovate it first, Mr. Bulldog. What price your raft now, now that we have something to cut with? Should be a piece of cake. You don't really believe he's thinking of using that for peaceful purposes, do you? Are you happy with your knife? Yes, it's like silver. Let me look at it. No. Give me the knife, number four. No, I'm sorry, sea wife. I need it. The knife belongs to all of us. We all need it. What for? If we have the knife, then we can build a raft. Then we can leave the island. Leave? There are some islands not far from here. Please, give me the knife. Pardon me, I cannot. The knife is now sharp. I wouldn't want anyone to cut themselves. Then will you show me how to make a fire? Will you? Certainly. With steel, it is easy, but I keep the knife. What's wrong, number four? What's happened to you? No, sea wife, what's happened to you? I, I don't know what you mean. Why don't you tell him that you are none? I've already told you the reason. Perhaps there is another reason. What other reason? Biscuit.
no, that is all wrong. Kindly leave it to me. Shall I go and cut some more bamboo? No, thank you. I will both cut and build. Then perhaps when the raft is ready, you'll select me, Captain. Captain, rapid promotion. You think that's a good idea? I think it's a very good idea. After all, he's the only sailor amongst us. He's making the thing. Of course he should be captain. Thank you, Mr. Bulldog. You certainly earned it. Uh, when do you think the raft will be ready to leave the shipyard? If we work very hard, I shall have it ready by the next full moon. Morning, number four. How much longer before the raft's ready? Only two more days. It must be ready by full moon. The tide is best there. I think the weather's going to play. The main thing is to catch that big northward current. I reckon it runs at five or six knots. Are you ready? One, two, three! Bless this raft and all who sail on her. Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, Amen. Hello? Would you like to hear another lecture on the nebulous? I'm afraid the last one was a little disjointed. No, I don't want to hear about them. I just want to look at them. See, wife. Listen to me. I know I promised I wouldn't ask you this again, but... Why are you running away from things? Tell me that. I'm not running away. Yes, you are. You're running away from life, from yourself. There are voices talking to you, aren't there, see, wife? You can hear them, can't you? No. Listen to them, see, wife. Listen to them. Don't touch me, please, don't touch me. See, wife. Don't. Listen to those voices, see, wife. They're the only real voices, the voices of life. I love you, see, wife. Oh, no, don't you let them say that. Why not? It's true. And why shouldn't I love you? You're young and brave and beautiful and good. When I was sick, you nursed me. If ever we get out of this island alive, it's because you've held us together. All this time, I've been so near you. All this time. So near you. Why shouldn't I love you? Because... Because I've, I've given my word to someone else. But when you gave your word, you wanted to know that this would happen. Neither was he. this case. You see, I didn't make any conditions when I promised. I can't stop making them now.
What time is it? Eight o'clock. High tide in two hours. Half an hour after that, we'll be all aboard. Are you sorry to be leaving, Sea Wife? Oh, I don't know. Why are you? If Bulldog and Number Four sailed away and left us here together, would you be sorry? I begged you last night not to ask questions like that. If you think I'm sorry about last night, you're mistaken. When we get back, if we get back, I shall ask you again. And I shall keep on asking until I get an answer. And a truthful one. Have you looked on the raft? No, it's not on the raft. I have looked. I thought I saw you drop it. What's the trouble? His knife. He's lost it. Do you need it so badly? It served its purpose now. I need it more than ever. I must have it. It's not on the raft. Look back there. Where you were cutting the bamboos. No, I don't like the look of this trim. I think it's all right. Yes, but how's it going to be when we all come on board, huh? Come on. Come on board. Let's, let's try it. All right. It'll be all right with number four up front. Yeah, but what's going to happen when the wind catches the sail? Steady on, old man. What? Have us all in the current. It'll be impossible to get back. How far out do you reckon we have to go before we catch the current? I don't know, about 30 yards. Right. Here we go. Steady, old man. Can't you see what he's doing? He's leaving behind number four. Hey, Bulldog. Stop oh, him. Oh, shut up. Cut it out. Are you crazy? You've killed him. Killed him? I've saved his life and yours. Number four! Number four! Too late, Captain! The boat sailed! The sea wife! I have one of the bus! Wait! Hold on, please! I'm sorry, but somebody's got to be sane. Sane? Yes, sane. And it's not sane to sail on a raft with you, a Negro, and a knife. Any two together, but not all three. If you don't turn back, I'll go. We can't. We're in the current. See what I see. Don't be so damn silly. See what I I am one of the party. It is my raft. Go back. We'll send you help. Go back, you fool! See what? Tell him to go back! Go back, Baby number four! Me. Go back, number four! Shark! Go back! Look out on the right, you fool! Dash! Dash! Watch out on the right! Dash, you fool! Dash! It was his own fault. It was his own fault, I tell you. He was the best one of us all. Negro, 
Not a girl. Uh, uh, no. Any two. Not all three. No alternative. Look at my hands, O oh Lord. I commend my spirit. Lord, grant us a quiet night. A peaceful end. My God, I love thee. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? It's not the end. I love thee. Whom do you love? Say quiet night, face face. Do you know what he would have done to you, my pretty? Because I do. Oh, yes. I know them. Don't worry. I'll look after you. Please. Now shut up, all of you, while I... while I think. Now, if... if the current's moving... Southwest. We must be. I, I'm sorry to be so indecisive. But it's not easy. It's not easy. Should have stayed on the island. Stayed on the island. With sea wife. I'm sorry, Biscuit. I didn't want to deceive you. But I didn't know the answers myself. That was a time. I almost listened to those voices. over now. So you'll never come and look for me. You'll never know. God, forgive us all. God, be merciful to me. Several months before I discovered that we'd been saved by a boat and I'd been taken ashore at the nearest port. I would like your assurance that you'll forget the whole matter. I'm afraid I can't promise you that. There's a trouble with you, Biscuit. You're conceited. 
You don't know what you're up against. You think every woman must be in love with you. I love her, do you understand? I love Sea Wife. I must find her. Please help me to find her. She's alive, isn't she? Tell me where she is. Uh, yes, we're all alive in a way. She and I. And the other. And all dead. For practical purposes, Biscuit, you should consider yourself the only survivor. What do you mean? She's dead. Sea wife is dead. She died on the ship. Her last thoughts were of you. She said, tell Biscuit that I loved him. She said that you will always to think of her as she was on the island. Wrong, Sister Therese? Just someone I once knew. He didn't seem to recognize you. No one ever looks at the face of a nun.